Hi, Blood Talk fans. Today is another episode of ABO Discrepancies. Since I got a few requests from you guys to have another one of ABO Discrepancy video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Moving on to the next example. Number two, unexpected reactions in the reverse blood type. For example, anti A, 4 plus, anti B, 0, A1 cell, 1 plus, B cell, 4 plus. Looking at these reactions, what come to your mind? I will give you a few minutes and then we will talk about it. I'll give you some hints. First, determine is this the forward or reverse issue? Looking at the given reactions, you can see that the A1 cell is the weakest reactivity and that is from the reverse reaction. Since a weaker reaction is in the reverse type, it is more likely that the discrepancy is in the reverse. What could you do next? What could cause that? 1. Lulo The Lulo should come to your mind right away. This is a condition where the patient red blood cell stack together look like a koi stack. It is easily identifiable when you look under microscope. So if you are doing the tube typing, take a look at it under the microscope and you will be able to identify it right away. Now that you have identified that it is a Lulo, that causing an issues, you can do a saline replacement and that should solve your issues. I have a video about saline replacement that tell you step by step so please check them out at the end of this video. If the saline replacement come out negative, it's confirmed that you have a Lulo and your ABO discrepancy is solved. In this case, you can report that the patient is A blood type and it would be wise to enter in the comment section that the rule was observed. Next, co-antibody. This could also be caused by co-antibody since we are performing the test at room temperature. If this reaction is truly caused by co-antibody, then the reactions will still be positive after saline replacement. Because the saline replacement removes the excess protein in the patient plasma and do not interfere with the co-antibody bond. To prove that this is a co-antibody, you can do a pre-warm technique. Pre-warm technique is when you warm up the patient plasma and the reagent separately at 37 degrees for 15 minutes prior performing the test. If the test came up negative, you have a co-antibody. You don't know what it is at this point. All you can say is a nonspecific co-antibody. If the test came up positive, you will have to further investigate and start with antibody screen. It still could be a strong co or a co-antibody that react at a higher temperature. You won't know what it is until you do your rule out. You can also have an A subgroup patients. You can confirm this by performing anti-A1 lactin and A2 cells. If the patient is A1 subgroup, then your anti-A1 lactin should show 4 plus and A2 cell is 0 or non-reactive. If your anti-A1 lactin is non-reactive and A2 cells is 4 plus, that means you can report it out as subgroup of A. Number three, another example of unexpected reactions in the reverse blood type. Anti A, 4 plus, anti B, 4 plus, A1 cells, 2 plus, B cells, 2 plus. What could cause this reactivity? This patient probably group AB blood type with the following possibility. One, co reacting allo antibodies such as anti-M or anti-P, which is more common. Two, co-reacting autoantibody such as anti-Big I or anti-Big H. Three, passively acquire antibody through plasma exchange or with RHIG injections. Or four, it could also be a Lulo. What can you do to resolve these 
problems. One, perform antibody screens. Two, redo the test with auto controls. Three, try saline replacement. Four, a mini coal panel if you suspect a coal antibody. Five, pre warm reactants and retest. That's all I have for today. Did I miss anything? If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer them. If I don't know, I will try my best to find out for you. Also, keep in mind that the information I put together here is the general practice at the moment. As time change, certain practice may change and different institutions may have different policies. So please keep an eye out for that. If you like my video and think it's helpful in any way, please share it with your friends and I shall see you all next time. As always, remember, your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.